so we are here with another year of my power rankings. We go through all 32 teams. Obviously, I've done this for, I think it's been uh, th four years, I think it's been. <laughs> it's crazy. It's, it's been a couple years. I know that. Um, typically, I do one in the middle of the off season. I'll do another one um, at the middle of the uh, year. So probably week eight, week nine. Obviously, there's been an extra week extended um, this year. So I'll, I'll have to go back and look at what week I did it last year uh, and try to base it around that again. And then I'll get, obviously, I do my playoff power rankings for the teams that are uh, left that are heading into the playoffs. Um, this year, honestly... The very bottom and then the very top teams were very hard to kind of separate. And um, I might, you know, in the middle of this video, just say, hey, I like this team better than that team. and just kind of switch them in my head. Um, but these, these bottom six teams, I, I'm just thinking to myself, I could have put this one higher, could have put that one lower. And uh, I am going with the Texans at 32. Just, I mean... <laughs> We'll see how, how they do. Obviously, new head coach, um, Davis Mills in his second year, and they don't really have anyone uh, of note. Uh, obviously, Brandon Cooks is returning, and so Davis Mills and Cooks have that uh, kind of a chemistry a little bit that they should probably grow on, uh, you know, this second year for Davis Mills here. Um, but I, outside of that, I, I just – they don't really have anyone, and I, and I thought – I could put them above maybe a team or two, but I decided I'm just going to put them last. Uh, but I love Lovey Smith as a coach. I think he's a very good coach. Uh, so I think he could turn this Texans team around within a couple years. Uh, next, I have the Jags here at 31. Now, it's, it's not Urban Meyer this time. And, uh, you know, they've gotten some pieces. Um, but to me, it's the gelling. Obviously, brand new head coach, brand new players. Uh, Trevor Lawrence going into his second year after having an honestly not that good first year, rookie year. Um, but, you know, you don't expect rookies to come out swinging uh, and throw 500 touchdowns in a million yards. You expect them to, you know, not be too good because, again, they're rookies. Um, so I just think, you know, second year of Trevor Lawrence, new head coach, bunch of new, you know, you got Christian Kirk, you got a bunch of new uh, weapons, defense, all this new stuff you have. Uh, I just think it's going to take time for them to gel. So I can't put them, you know, top 30 right now just because uh, I just I don't trust this team to, you know, do too well. Uh, I think it's going to take another couple years um, to at least look for a playoff spot. And then at 30, I have the Giants. Um, I, I could have put the Giants at 32nd. I, I really could have. Um, but, I mean, I, I'm one of the people that – thinks Daniel Jones isn't that bad. Obviously, he's not a superstar QB. He's not amazing. He's not good. Um, but I, I think he could be average. I, I think he could do okay. Um, and it's just, you know, you got... Uh, I, I think they have a new GM. Uh, I believe they have a new head coach. I believe they have, like, new everything this year for staff. Um and uh, I think, they, do they have Kenny Galladay again this year? I think they do. So uh, I think they still have some pieces. Um, I, I think they had a decent draft too. So I, I'm putting them at 30. Uh, again, I could put them at 32, but um, we'll see how well they do. I just, I don't think they're going to do that well. Uh, next, I have the Falcons. <laughs> what, what, what can I say? They, they lost Matt Ryan. I mean, you just... You're not that good of a team anymore. Defense is eh. Um, I, I just, I don't know how to feel about the Falcons. This could have been a team at 31 too, honestly. Uh, it's, it's just, I have no idea how they're going to perform. And they could perform okay and maybe get like five or six wins. Or they could perform terribly and tank for that number one seed. Or uh, number one spot for the draft next year. So, I, I just don't know. I have them here at, uh, what is it, 29? Yeah, 29. Um, just strictly because they're a wild card to me. And I, I don't know how to feel if they can actually get a couple wins or not. So uh, that's why I just have them here at 29. Uh, next, I have the Jets. Now, I cannot confirm this, but I believe this is the highest I've ever had the Jets on my rankings. I believe 28 is the highest. Uh, now, I can't confirm that 100% because um, I have not gone back and looked at every single one. 
Uh, but I know one year they were at 32, and then last year I think I had them at 31. Um, so they they've cracked the top 30 here at 28, and I, I mean they had a good draft. Um, you know Zach Wilson is, eh. <laughs> um, but you know I, I think they could be okay. I, I think they could. Um, maybe get five wins. Uh, maybe that's too much for the Jets. <laughs> but I think they could push five wins. I really do. May possibly, possibly get five wins. Obviously, this would you know knock them. Uh, would this be like the fifth or the sixth? Uh, pick in the draft. But I mean, you, you, <laughs> yeah, they gotta eventually build a team. Um, and so you know the the just gotta get better and better. I think again, they had a good draft this year. Um, I think they have some playmakers on uh, offense and defense, but again, they're not going to be super good, but I think maybe five to six wins you could see the Jets get this year. Uh, next to Seattle, uh, this could have been 32 for all, for all I care. Um, <laughs> just falling apart. Uh, defense is, well, I guess I would probably say the offense is worse than the defense right now. I think I would. I think I would say the offense is worse. Obviously, uh, Drew Locke, I think Geno Smith is still there. Uh, there's a third QB that I can't remember that's on the roster that are all competing for the starting job. Um, you, you still have DK Metcalf, still have Lockett. Uh, I think is Penny back. I think Penny's still uh, coming back. Um, maybe not. I don't remember. I I don't pay attention to the Seahawks a lot. Um, but I, they, they could tank and get the you know one or two seed, or they could get seven wins somehow <laughs> i i just i don't know how to feel about them they're, they're going to be an interesting team this year too but they are definitely going to be way worse but I, I think i would cap uh the amount of wins at seven max is what i think i would say they are uh, or potentially can get uh next is chicago bears um new gm uh i was just, i think it was second year for a head coach no did they get it was it this year? I don't remember. Um, they, they, they got some new staffing, and they stole, uh, I think, was it the Titans coach from the Packers? Um, they got new staffing, but you lost Allen Robinson. Uh, I think, what, Moore is their next best receiver? And uh, you lost Akeem Hicks. Uh, you lost, I think, what, Maca Maca Yeah, he got traded, I believe it was. Um or did his contract expire? I don't remember. He either got traded or his contract expired. So, you know, the Bears are just falling off a cliff this year. I don't personally think Justin Fields is going to live up to the hype. Now, will he be a, a good QB? Possibly, but there's not a lot of pieces around him. Let's let's be honest. There's just not. And his defense is going to let up at least, you know, 28 points a game uh, to good teams, I should say. Because uh, against bad teams, you're obviously going to make some stops. But uh, Bears are just eh. Um, now, Panthers are another team where it's like, I could have put them lower on the list, too. Um, but I, 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 someone's got to be at 25. <laughs> so, uh, I'm putting them at 25. I, I mean, they're okay. I mean, the defense isn't bad. I, I'll say that. The defense is not bad at all. Um, but uh, you got <laughs> Sam Darnold. <laughs> I, I was supporting Sam Darnold last year, and now he's just... Uh, oh, well. Um, you got Matt Rule as your head coach, who is just... I mean, I think there's people that already want him gone. Uh, but I, Panthers could win a couple wins, uh, but they're not contending for the division. They're not contending for, like, anything. <laughs> they're just not this year. Uh, next is Washington. Um... You either are gonna get a good Carson Wentz or you're gonna get a bad Carson Wentz. I, no in between. He's either gonna be injured and you're probably gonna have to start Taylor Heineke again, or uh, you're gonna get you know Wentz that is on a revenge tour, trying to just beat up everyone and then get beat out uh, or beat up in the uh, wild card and losing the wild card. I, there's just no in between. You just don't know what's gonna happen with him. Um, so yeah, he's, he's the X factor right now. Uh, oh crap. I forgot to, okay. This is not 25. I forgot to delete this. Uh, Steelers coming in next. Um, I think Kenny Pickett has some upsides. I think it could be okay. Obviously that defense is still pretty good. Um, you know, you got weapons on offense. So I'm putting the Steelers here at, uh, what is this? 23. Again, I forgot to delete this. I probably did that for something else too. 
Um, there's probably another one in here. Uh, but yeah, I think they'll be decent. Uh, Lions here at 22. This is a huge jump for them, too. I don't know. I, no, I think this is the highest I've had them. Or have I had them at 20? I might have had them at 20 before. Um, Lions, I feel like, are a sneaky, good, underrated team. I think they will be a lot better than a lot of people um, think they will be. Uh, you could potentially split with the Vikings. You could potentially split with the uh, Bears. You could potentially... Well, I guess you could you could sweep the Bears, too. Uh, but you could potentially uh, split with the Packers. You just... You never know. Um, by Week 18... Uh, Packers might be resting people. Lions could be trying to get into the playoffs. And, you know, you, you get a win against the Packers, you split with them, and that can bounce you right into the playoffs. So uh, it's just, I think their ceiling is the wild card. I do. I, I think after last year, I think it showed that, hey, they had a lot of close games. Sure, they didn't little, win a lot, but they had a lot of close games. I think they did decently well this year at drafting. And I think that... Uh, Again, they, they have potential to get into the wild card this year. I think that is their ceiling right now. Uh, 21 here is the Dolphins. Um, I just, I don't trust Tua. I, I'll just <laughs> I'll just say that. Uh, and the defense is okay, too. But I, I just, I really don't trust Tua. Uh, 20 here, the Colts. Um, I mean, the Colts have always had a really a good defense. Um, and you have a running game. I, I mean, you have Matt Ryan. I, I just... I, the, the running game, I, I love Jonathan Taylor, big Jonathan Taylor supporter. But I, I, I'm just curious as to see how the passing game is going. Um, you have Michael Pittman Jr. and uh, honestly a lot of unknowns, <laughs> uh, at, like people-wise, like wide receiver-wise. Um, so maybe Matt Ryan can turn it around and you know make some of those people get known, at least in the Colts community. Um, like Rodgers did it for... Um, Jeff Janis and you know people like that so maybe Matt Ryan can do that here or there in Indy too uh possibly so I just I don't know how to feel about them but again I think their defense is good um but I mean you can't rely on Jonathan Taylor to win your games you just you can because people are eventually going to sell uh stop the run and then you got to have Matt Ryan throw um and you know if wide receivers aren't catching well, that's not on Matt Ryan. That's on the wide receivers. So, uh, 19 here, I have the Broncos. Here we go with the AFC West. Uh, <laughs> all of them are top 20 right now. Uh, the reason I have the Broncos last here is you got a brand new uh, offensive coordinator. Uh, you got Russell Wilson, who's coming in. Just, you know, has to take this offseason to learn the playbook and whatnot. Um, you got a lot of pieces around. But you also are in the stacked division of the AFC West. And I, I think it's going to be really hard to win games. And, I mean, the Chiefs are falling, but I still think they could split with the Chiefs uh, or at least lose one of the Chiefs because, you know, Patrick Mahomes and that offense is still crazy. Um, Raiders, that defense is going to be interesting. Uh, Chandler Jones, right? Is that, I think that's who they picked up. Um Obviously, you have the crazy defense of the Chargers. Chargers, Chargers might go eight and zero in the in, within the division. Um, I, I just I can't see the Chargers losing a lot of games in their division just because they're just so stacked on defense and offense. Now, I I mean I would say probably the offense is a little weaker than the defense, but it's still it's still a very good offense. Uh, it's just that defense just makes them look like puppies. Because that defense is loaded with talent. Um, but I, I think they're going to struggle. They, they might get swept by the Chargers this year. I don't know. So, I mean, they're just going to have a lot of tough games, especially in the division, uh, this year. Next is the Raiders. Uh, again, another AFC West team here, back-to-back. -back. Uh, again, that defense I like. I think Derek Carr, I mean, he's still he's a good QB. Um, you got Adams. You got Hunter Renfro. Uh, but... You still have the Chargers twice a year. And, I mean, the Chiefs, who, uh, I, again, last year, you can't really go off of too much, but they embarrassed you. I guess they had Tyree Kill, but not too much has changed on defense. You, again, you added Chandler Jones, but uh, and that defense is still going to be good, but it's still Patrick Mahomes. So they could still split with the uh, Chiefs. Uh, I think they could split with the um, Broncos, too. So I, I just think they're in a... Good position, but there's just <laughs> their own division is 
you know, half of the teams are better than them. And, you know, even the worst team, the Broncos, is still right up there with the three other teams. So it's just, it's going to be a dogfight. It really is. Um, so, but I think they, you know, there's just two teams better in the AFC West. Uh, next is the Browns. Now I have them here at, uh, what is this? Oh, crap. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. 20, 19, 18, 17. I have them here at 17 because Deshaun Watson, there's nothing been announced if his uh, game or how many games he has to sit out yet, if he's even going to sit out games. So I can't put them inside the top 10, especially because he hasn't played in, what, two years now? So he could be good. He could be bad. They might have to force Baker to play, which Baker might not play. Or they might have to rely on, uh, who is it? Who's, is Case Keenum their other QB? <laughs> I don't remember. Um, and then you might have to have him or whoever is their other QB play for six-plus games. Uh, and, if, again, if Deshaun Watson isn't good, then, uh, one, you're not making the playoffs, and, two, you might go last in your division. Because, I mean, your division is – it's not stacked, but, I mean, it's the AFC North. There, there's still a lot of bad blood there no matter what. You know, if teams are good or bad. So you just never know. Uh, next is the Vikings. I don't know. I honestly don't know how to feel about them. And I want to be as objective as possible. I, I want to throw my Packer bias aside. I don't know how to feel about them because I just saw a report yesterday. Uh, or Sorry, I think it was two days ago. Zedaria Smith is already hurt. They already have uh, um, There's some other people that got hurt. Um, and... I mean, it's Kirk Cousins at QB. I just, I don't know. Yes, you have Justin Jefferson. You have Adam Thielen. Uh, but their their defense is okay at best. Uh, well, I guess, I mean, they're, I don't want to say at best. Um, but I, I don't know how to feel about them. I really don't. Uh, could they make the playoffs? Yes. Could they miss the playoffs? Yes. I, do, I, I think they'll have maybe eight, nine wins possibly. But I don't I don't know if they're gonna make the playoffs. I, I just don't, I don't know how to feel about them actually. So uh, next is the Ravens. Um, have we gone through all four? No, no. There's still one more AFC North team in here. Uh, the Ravens again are another team where uh, I I think they had a decent off season. Um, was it? I forget who they got some someone good i can't remember i it's so hard to keep track of 32 teams so uh my my bad i, I can't keep every single team straight it's, it's just too hard um but i believe they got someone good uh obviously you have lamar jackson that defense isn't bad uh you still have you know mark andrews still have weapons and obviously they're a run first team um i think what jk dobbins should be back this year so you still have a run game and you have you know the option to run with your qb and you obviously can pass too so uh it'll be interesting to see what happens with the ravens um but i, I got them uh, at 15 right now because uh, you know we'll see what happens uh patriots at 14 because uh they, they can't ever go below 20 <laughs> this is this team i don't know <sighs> somehow some way they're making the playoffs. I, I don't know why. I don't know how. But they have to make the playoffs. Just because that's that's the rule in the NFL. Is The one rule is is Bill Belichick makes the playoffs no matter what. Now, I think he, he missed it. I think it was a couple years ago. But <laughs> the point is, is they're always some, somehow some way in the playoffs randomly. Um, and, yeah, I, I we'll see. Uh, I just I don't know how to feel about them. Maybe they're another wild card exit. We'll see. Uh, Dallas is next. Um, <laughs> they've gotten worse and, uh, they're going to somehow still be able to fight for first in their division and somehow still have a home game or potential home game. But I think there's going to be another AFC, uh, or NFC East team that's better than them. Uh, Cardinals here at 14, 13, 12. Uh, I think... Well, I don't want to say the drama with Kyler Murray is over, but I think they're kind of putting it past. Um, I don't think they're going to start out, was it 7-0, 8-0, whatever they started out last year. I think it was 7-0 uh, before my Packers beat them. But uh, I don't think they start out that hot again. But I think they could make the playoffs. I think there's potential to have two or maybe even possibly three uh, teams make the playoffs again from the NFC West just because of how top-heavy uh the nfc is and 
there's just a lot of bad teams in the NFC versus AFC. A lot of good teams. And there's probably going to be, I think last year there was like 13 teams buying um, up until I think it was like week 15 or 16 or whatever. Um, there just just a lot of teams just still in the hunt in the AFC. Probably probably 13 or 14 again this year. So uh, I think they, they can make the playoffs. I don't know how far they go. Now the Saints are the biggest wild card to me. Now I believe Jameis Winston is back as QB. Um, I know they had to let someone go. Uh, they got uh, was it Chris Olave? Was that who they drafted? Again, I'm sorry, I'm forgetting. Uh, there's <laughs> there's too many teams to keep track of. Uh, but I believe they had a decent draft. I don't want to say their defense is bad, but it's okay. Uh, offense, I think, will be sneaky good, so I just think to watch out for the Saints. Uh, the Eagles are my underdog team to probably win it all, honestly. If I had to pick an underdog team, I think I would pick the Eagles. Uh, now, mostly, it depends on Jalen Hurts. If he takes a big step up and is very good next year, I think they can go all the way. I do. They have a lot of pieces around him. I think their defense got better. Um, I, I think they. I have the best chance to win the NFC East. And I think they can actually contend with the top tier uh, teams in the NFC. Uh, so I, I just I think they're a very good team, a very underrated team that not a lot of people are going to talk about because obviously it's the NFC East. But I think if you watch these uh, or this team's game against some of the top tier teams, I think they will do pretty well. They might not win them all, but I think they will do pretty well against top tier teams. And then again, anything can happen in the playoffs. So uh, number nine in Tennessee, just can never count them out. Obviously, Derrick Henry can't count out. Um, I mean. Tannehill's not bad, <laughs> uh, but without Derrick Henry, is not good. And then they don't have A.J. Brown either. I guess I probably could have put the Eagles above them. Uh, I, I'm going to switch that right now. Eagles at 9, Titans at 10. Uh, next, Kansas City. Just I mean, you have Patrick Mahomes. You have Travis Kelsey. Uh, your offense is just loaded with talent uh, usually. In that they're, I mean, again, you don't have Tyree Kill. Uh, they have uh, Juju, right? Yeah, Juju got uh, is a chief and uh, MVS, which I'm not a big fan of. I, again, I just don't think he he does well with deep balls. I think he still has a dropping problem. Um, but maybe a new scenery will help MVS learn to catch better. I don't know. <laughs> uh, next, San Francisco. Now, uh, I believe it's been stated that uh, Trey Lance is going to start. But their defense is just too good where I, I can't put them super low. I can't. Their defense is top tier, especially when healthy. Very good defense. So I think if Trey Lance is good to great, I think they can make the playoffs. And again, once you get in the playoffs, like I just said, anything is possible. So we'll see. Um, but I, I just I think San Francisco is probably going to make another playoff run again this year. Uh, next, the Bengals, the AFC uh, champions. Uh, they are not repeating. I'm sorry. <laughs> They're not. Bills are better. Uh, there's Chargers are better. I, I think they'll have a tough time against the Chiefs. Again, don't know Tyree Kill, but I, I think that's still an interesting matchup that could happen. Um, I, I just think that there's a lot of teams, especially the, the AFC West, <laughs> that is really going to give them a hard time. But I think they can easily win the North. I think they're you know loaded enough to win the North, uh, but it's can they beat these other top tier uh, teams in the AFC again, especially now that a lot of them are loaded and ready for a Super Bowl run this year. So we'll see. But uh, Bengals are a good team. I'm not. I'm not going to say they're a terrible team because they're a very good team. Uh, five. I mean, come on. It's it's <laughs> the Chargers are just loaded everywhere. Like you could say the weak point is fullback. I <laughs> They're, they're just stacked at like almost every position pretty much. Um, I, I think they have, again, the best chance to win the West. Uh, and uh, you're going to be contending with the Bills. You're going to be contending with the uh, Bengals. Um, and obviously, I mean, don't really have to worry about the South because the South is not that good. But, um, but you're going to be contending with the top tier teams. Uh, and basically your, your division is going to get you ready for that. <laughs> so uh, I think they win the division, and maybe we see them in the AFC Championship game this year. Maybe they're in the Super Bowl. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, number four, I have my Packers. Um, now, uh, honestly, I think talent-wise, I think I would probably put the uh, 
wide receiver core would be the Chargers. But I think the defense is just as good. You have a better QB. I would say you have a better running duel. I, <laughs> you can argue that. I, I would say Packers have a better running duel than the Chargers right now. I mean, it's Eckler and... Oh, God. Who's... <laughs> I can't even think about who this is RB2. Um, yeah, so I would say, you know, offensively, again, they have them beat in uh wide receiver department they have the packers beating the wide receiver but again better qb better uh running backs um i guess you could probably well i guess i guess i would probably say tight end mm, i think i would probably go chargers ah that's close that's close and then defensively again you have a lot of studs uh, but i think the packers have just as many studs all around uh, I know a lot of people are really hyping up our first two, uh, or our, our first first rounders, the both of them. Um, I think they're going to be you know spectacular, amazing. I don't, I want to see them in action first, but I I think this team is, you know, they're slated where they finally have a good defense, finally have a good special teams. At least the coach, if the coach can translate that into into the plays, that means we have a good special teams. And again, you have Aaron Rodgers. You always have a chance, no matter what. No matter who your wide receivers are. Um, but we're getting to the top three here. Bills, best team in the AFC. I don't care. I will fight anyone that says otherwise. The, they're, they're just they're better. Now, the Chargers can give them a run. The Chargers can beat them. I know that. I know that for a fact, that they could beat them. But I just think that <laughs> the Bills, after you know last year with the heartbreak in overtime, uh, and, I mean, they've been just slowly on the uprise. So, I, I think their ceiling is the Super Bowl. I think their ceiling is they, they could win the Super Bowl. I know I'm getting on the hype train like a lot of people. Uh, but it's just, they're that good. They, they are. Their defense is spectacular. Offense is spectacular. Um, I, I just, I think that they're, you know, a very good team. I think they can beat anyone in the AFC. Uh, they can contend with anyone in the AFC. Yes, <laughs> uh, the... Chiefs beat them last year, but again, no Tyree Kill. So it's going to be a whole different ball game now if they face the Chiefs in the playoffs. Uh, but again, I expect possibly a Chargers-Bills AFC Championship game. I think that's what uh, probably most people would, but I, I think that's a good bet to place uh, would be those two teams in the AFC Championship game. And I hope it's a, you know, just very good offense, very good defense. Uh, I just want all around good AFC championship football. If it is those teams. So uh, just again, <laughs> best team in the AFC. Uh, now I hate this. Um, I, I'm not, <laughs> it's the freaking bucks. Um, Tom Brady is back. So they're, they're automatically contenders no matter what. Uh, it, it's, I hate it. I hate him so much. I don't know why he couldn't stay retired. Obviously every other fan base agrees. Maybe not the Patriots, but uh, 30 fan bases just want him gone. <laughs> but he came back. Obviously, they're not, I don't want to say as loaded as the 2020 Bucks, but again, it's Tom Brady. Still have Evans. Um, no word on Gronk yet, I, I believe. Maybe something happened like a month ago or two. I don't remember, but I, I think he still hasn't come back yet. Uh, but I think their defense is still top tier. I think, again, you have Brady, your offense is still top tier. So, I, I mean, I got to put them at two. Because <laughs> they might make that another NFC Championship game. I don't know if they'll make the Super Bowl. Because uh, the NFC, again, is top heavy. And if it's, you know, Packers, Bucks, um, Rams, and I guess Niners <laughs> would be the final four teams. Um, so, if it's, you know, any of those top tier teams, I, I think that, you know, any of them could beat the Bucks. But you just never know. Uh, then at one, I, I you got to put the defending champs. I, I think they're very good. Obviously, you have teams like my Packers that have beat them. But that was in the regular season. Uh, no OBJ on the team as of yet. I think people are still kind of, or I should say teams are still kind of scared of, you know, he's coming off of an injury. Will he be as good as he was last year? I don't know. Uh, so, you know, no OBJ. Uh, Aaron Donald, I, I mean, He's coming back. Uh, he says he's. There was this whole report about him, you know, retiring or whatever. I, I'm pretty sure he's coming back. So, uh, I just I, they're the best team in the 
I, I guess I could say the best team in the NFC. Uh, I have them at one just because, they're again, they're going to be the betting favorites to win again next year. Um, but, again, I think that team's – I think the Bucks could, you know, come back. I mean, they almost blew – what was it, like 27-3 to 3 or whatever? Or 25-3? to 3? They almost blew that against the Bucks. Uh, again, they lost to the Packers. Uh, against the Niners, uh, what – I think did they go one and two, two and one. I don't know. Uh, you know, against your your own division, you're gonna struggle with that too. So I think they have a tough path against the top tier teams um, in the playoffs. But again, they're, they're the defending champs, so they can redo it uh, or go another round and repeat. So that's my list. Um, obviously, you don't have to agree. You can like other people better or other teams better. Uh, but for now, like the video, share the video around. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'm out of here. Peace.